All right. In MATLAB, the first thing I'd like to do is make a plot. Since we only have three variables here, we can plot in three dimensions, and we can figure out graphically what the answer should be as a way of checking the result from FSolve. So let's try that. Now, one thing here, when we wrote out the equations in the format for FSolve, we had to write everything out with the function equals zero, and we wrote them out using a vector of variables. We don't have to do that for plotting, so it's a little more straightforward. We can just use the format in which we wrote the equations down. So I have three different functions, and I'm going to call the values, the vertical values of those three different functions, z1, z2, and z3. Now you can see over here I've got all this stuff in my command history. I played around with this for a while before I started the screen capture. So rather than having you watch me type all this stuff back out again, I'm just going to pull it back up from command history. So we'll start with z1. Okay, and I'm going to write this out using an anonymous function. There we go. There's z1. z2. It's right there. And z3. To recall the equation, I'm just typing in the first couple characters and hitting the up arrow on my keyboard. So there it is. I've got all three of them. They're now in the workspace. I can plot with them if I want. I'm going to clear the command window here. And let's just start plotting. So fsurf is the command I'm going to use that plots anonymous functions. And I'm going to z1. And I don't really know where the answer is. So I'm going to pull that up. That's, that's the first x, y range I used. So this goes from x equals minus 4 to 4 and y equals minus 4 to 4. You can put any numbers in there you like. So that, and there it is. I'm going to make this a little bigger for us here. We're going to need all that acreage we can get. So looking good so far. Should be a plane, and it is. Looks, sure looks like a plane to me. No curvature. Yep, there it is, edge on. So no curvature. That's a plane. So let's shrink that down. Now to add more surfaces to that, I'm going to turn the hold on. And I'm just going to pull this command up again. Add Z2, which is also a, uh, should be a plane. So there it is. You can see that. And just do the same again with Z3. Now this isn't a flat plane anymore. It should look like kind of a bowl, I think. And there it is. So I've got it. And you can kind of see where these cross over each other, where they intersect. But it's hard to do with them all being the same color. So I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to highlight that plane. And let's make that plane maybe gray. Oh, now it's easier to see. Let's highlight this plane and make it, I don't know, some other color. How about yellow? Can we see the intersection? And turn off the pointer. Close that down. And let's just start rotating here. Oh, look at that. That's nice. It's nice and easy to see where the solutions are. And the solution being where those three planes cross each other. If we have a problem, it's that I don't know which what is x and y here. I can tell what z is, but I don't know which one of those is x, and I don't know which one is y. Let's fix that. So I'll type in x label equals x axis. And again, typing in y l a. I know I've already typed this command in again before, so I'm going to type in y l a and just hit the up arrow. And there it is. Now let's see what we got. Okay, now I can tell what I'm looking at, and it's easy to look at this from the top and turn it into basically a 2D plot here. Right? So one of the solutions is right there and the other solution is right there. So pretty straightforward. Let's, rather than throw this away, let's look at it from the bottom too. It's kind of cool. And actually, it may be a little easier to see on the bottom. Right? But rather than close this. I'm just going to shrink it down so we can use it later. And we're going to use fsolve to find the, the solution to this system of equations. In order to do that, I need to write out everything in the correct format. And I, I did this earlier, and I just called it f 
So I'm going to pull this up, and there's the whole thing here in all its glory. I'm going to shrink. There we go. So you can see all of this. All right, there's the entire uh, three functions written out. Just to make sure we're, we know where we are here, there's the first function, and that semicolon separates it from the second function, and another semicolon to separate it from the third function. And you can see right here where I've got variable squared. I put that dot in there to let it know that I want to uh, use the correct form of matrix multiplication. So there it is. Now all I got to do is type in F solve and F. And what do I want to use for starting point? Well, how about this? Use minus two. It was pretty close to minus two in the x direction. One in the y direction. I don't know what it is in the z direction. Oh, let's just say one and see what happens here. If I hit return, what I should get is an x, a y, and a z. So it's f solve is a little chatty. It tells you what it's doing here. So there's x, there's y, and there's z. There's z right there. Now I've double checked these, and these are correct. These correspond to those points on the plot. That this corresponds to one of them, where the surfaces intersect one another. Okay, you can see that's one of them. Just to double check here. Okay, minus 1.2 pretty much, and 1.3 in the y direction. So minus 1.2 and then 1.3. Yeah, we found that point right there. Right? With a different set of initial guesses, I should be able to find the other point. So let's try that. Let's maybe start with x of 0.5 and y of minus 1.5. So type this in again. 0.5 minus 1.5. Just leave that as 1. And there. There's the other solution. Now that worked out just fine, but I did everything on the command window. If the problems get much bigger than this one, it's very difficult to type all that stuff correctly into the command window. This sure looks like an opportunity to write an M file, huh? Let's do that next.